Emma! Get that way, I'm busy. And I'm not. Oh, never mind me, I'll just look after our kids. Hello? How's it going? Is it Wayne? As if you don't know. Is it you? It is. What can I do for you? Well, you might want to tell me about your holiday. Maternity leave, as a matter of fact. But fun by all means. I'm not exactly getting a lot of help from Ian. Has that got anything to do with the fact that he may not be the father? What? Of course he is. Why are you talking like this? We've all seen what you and Harry get up to on your lunch breaks. We've all seen you together. I don't see how that's any of your business. Look, if you ever ring up or pop round, you're going to need to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> What's it worth? Do I get what Harry gets? Look, it's um, a bad time, actually, because the baby needs feeding. What was it you called for? It's Harry. He hasn't shown up for work. And? No, oh, that's the first time that's happened in eight years of working for us. Yeah. There is a book going round. Even if there is, he would have run. I'm not his mother. But you are his bit on the side. Just thought you might have heard from him, that's all. Yeah, well, I haven't. I've got to go now. Just one for you. The rest is junk. Who's on the phone? Someone from work. Wanting what? Wanting to know about Harry. What about Harry? Harry's dead. Right, according to this, he's in here somewhere. I tell you what, it's a good place to hide a body. No one's been here for years. Do you reckon it's a joke? It's a bit of a fucking sick joke if it is. Anyway, do you think it's a bit of a coincidence that Wayne's telling you about all this and suddenly we get this letter? I've worked with Harry for years. Yeah. You sure that's all you did? Work? Yes. What are you implying? I used to dive here when I was young. Come on, let's just concentrate on the task in hand. He could be at the bottom of that pool. Then you'll never be found, because I'm not going in there. Come on, look. This guy, there's nothing here. What? Well, the shoe? That could be anybody's shoe. That is Harry's shoe. How do you know that's Harry's shoe? I always look at men's shoes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, I just can't believe the state of the body. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. We need to tell someone. 
look, someone else will find them eventually. Just let them worry about it. When they do, the police are only going to come around here anyway. Why will they come here? Because I worked with them. They'll just go to your work. They're not going to come here. Unless there's something you're not telling me. No, of course not. And what's the problem? The problem is, someone I've worked with for five years is dead. What do you want to do then? Go to the police, show them the letter. Oh my god, that is so selfish. Selfish? Yeah, we've got two kids. A newborn baby. You read the letter. This guy's a killer. We go to the police, we'll end up dead. Look, just let it go, all right? Calling the police is not going to bring Harry back, is it? You fucking liar. What? This is bullshit. You don't actually believe this, do you? Yesterday's letter was pretty spot on, wasn't it? Oh, God. This is Wayne doing this. That would also make him a killer. Killers come in all shapes and sizes, Em. I want a DNA test. I can't believe you've just said that. I know that baby's yours. Well, you've got nothing to worry about then, have you? I'll get this sorted right away. Fine! Have a fucking test! Becky, listen, I need a favour. Do you still work at that lab? Okay, I need a paternity testing kit. But I need to pick it up now. I've got to be at tomorrow's post. Hiya, sweetheart! Had a nice day. What is that all around your mouth? Let mummy have a look. the baby. I've already done that. Just leave it alone. God, what do you think I'm going to do? I don't know because I don't trust you. Get me to the lab right away. Have the police been round to see you yet? No, why? I pretended I didn't know where you lived, but they went onto the office system and got your address. Why? <laughs> Don't concern yourself. They've been speaking to all of us. About what? About Harry. What about Harry? He's alright, isn't he? Well, we don't know. It's been a few days now and no one's spoken to him. You mean nobody's seen him since you and I last spoke on the phone? That's right. Well, um... I'm sure he'll turn up sooner or later. I hope so. Doesn't look good. Not even his flatmate seen him. Yeah, well, um, that's the least of my worries at the moment. Why? What's wrong? You know how you were saying about Ian that he might not be the father? I was joking, but yeah. Yeah, somebody's told him about me and Harry. 
and because of that, I've had to have a DNA test to prove the baby's his. You've got nothing to worry about. No, I haven't, because I've swapped our eldest instead. You idiot. You didn't have to do that. What are you talking about? Everybody knows that Harry can't have kids. He's a Jaffa. from the DNA company. Open it. I'm more than happy you'll get the results you want. Cause I've loved 